morning guys uh, this morning we're gonna go ahead and continue with the end frame uh, I'm only gonna do this because they asked me to I mean like I said yesterday it was or in the previous video I mean to me it's easier to put the piston in the sleeve and then insert the sleeve with a piston in it uh, they asked me if I could please insert the sleeve on its own and then of course install the piston into the engine into the sleeve while it's already put in the engine. Uh, I went ahead and said yes, so uh, I'm gonna take back what I said yes uh, on the previous video. I'm gonna go ahead and install the sleeves by, by themselves. Uh, I'm not gonna use a special tool to install them. I am gonna use stuff that is was provided by us by the old engine or the parts that were removed. I'm gonna use uh, the piston wrist pins and head bolts to go ahead and install this sleeve into the block. Uh, let me go ahead and get started guys. Let me show you this. Alright guys, we're going to install the cylinder sleeve at number one. You see, dry. You don't oil them up or nothing. They go in dry. See these numbers? I always like to keep them facing forward. Install your sleeve carefully. And our only special tool is piston pin, head bolt, few washers and a bearing. The cylinder was protruding, I don't know, I, I'm going to say a 3 sixteenths of an inch because of the bottom seal. Now that we're tightening the bolts, that seal's being pressed into place. Leave it there for 5-10 minutes and you should be ready to remove the bolts. Cylinder should stay in. We are going to check the height of the cylinder wall. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can get, I don't know, 3 thousandths. Four thousands of an inch, but we'll check in a bit. We're going to go ahead and <clears throat> install rod bearings on the connecting rod before we take out this assembly over to the block to install it. Uh, they pack these things like if they don't want anybody to open them. So, uh, there we go, guys. Oops. My bad. My bad.
pistons are in. And we do have weird ways of putting our stuff together, but it works so far. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go under, and I gotta torque these uh, connecting rods down to the crank. Right now, they're just kind of not. I mean, we probably tightened them to like maybe 10, 15 pounds just to hold them in place while we rotated the crank so that we can get the rest of the cylinders in place. Uh, now we have to go down there and set the torque wrench to spec. I mean, set them to spec. Uh, bring out the torque wrench and. Eh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that one in time lapse. I mean, it's it's somewhat time consuming, uh, but there are all, all the cylinder walls are in place and all the pistons are in place. All right, guys, thanks for watching this one. I'll go ahead and uh, start a new video with the torquing and the rest of the stuff that we're gonna do tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys.